Hey friends, I have some extra eggs from my last Dollar Tree video. I've, I've been thinking for a while it'd be fun to try making a Dollar Tree Eggs Benedict. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my Dollar Tree Eggs Benedict. Of course we have eggs. Uh, the Dollar Tree does not sell butter, so I'm gonna try it out with margarine, a hollandaise sauce similar to mayonnaise it is just an emulsion of eggs and a fat. So hopefully the margarine should work out. I've never actually tried it with margarine. Usually I would use butter, but I'm excited to see if it works. I also got a bottle of lemon juice. It is a very lime green color, but I think that is mostly because the bottle itself is that lime green color. The Dollar Tree does sometimes carry uh, English muffins in its fresh bread section, but it, my Dollar Tree always seems to be really limited on what they have. So based on what they had available, I decided to go with frozen waffles. I think that a poached egg with hollandaise sauce on a waffle will be absolutely delicious. With all the ridges to catch the sauce, it, it's gonna be great. The Dollar Tree sells bacon, which would have worked, um, but I wanted to try this stuff, this country ham. And it was only a dollar despite everything else being a dollar 25. I don't know if this is something that y'all have everywhere in Dollar Trees, um, but it does say that it's made out of, right out of Boone, North Carolina. So that's pretty local. I mean, you know, Boone's a few hours away from me, but it is in state. And then at five ounces, it's also significantly more uh, meat than the bacon. Finally, I got a bag of frozen asparagus just to have something as a little side dish. I think the asparagus and the hollandaise sauce should be really good together. Those are my ingredients. I'm gonna get started. First thing I'm gonna do is to start melting my margarine. I wanna heat it up to around 200 degrees. It can handle going a little hotter than that. I think up to like 220 is okay, but it is important for it not to be too hot or it will just cook my eggs. I will end up with scrambled eggs, which is what we do not want. I'm also gonna start warming up my skillet for that country ham. It should cook very fast. And I'm gonna start preheating my oven for the asparagus. Hopefully I time everything and it comes out more or less done at the right time. I cut open my Daniel Boone Inn brand country ham. And it says it's trimmings, so we'll see what it actually looks like here. And the instructions on it just say to heat it for 45 seconds per side. That sounds simple enough. I guess actually since it's a cured ham, it's already cooked, so it just needs to be heated up. off on that. It looks like it left a lot of crud on here, but I mean, it's it wipes right off. And I have my asparagus that I quickly defrost it in the sink and uh, used a paper towel to get some of that moisture off. Get those in the pan. Throw a little salt and pepper on them. Pop them straight in the oven. I'm gonna separate my uh, yolks from my eggs. I'm gonna use three eggs. Uh, this is the container I'm gonna make the hollandaise in. Now's probably a great time to mention that the last time I made hollandaise, I did it the kind where you whisk it over a double, bo double boiler. I've never actually made it with an immersion blender, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. That was hot water that I had in there. I just wanted to warm this up a little bit. I have a a bowl here for my whites. I feel like the hand you doing it with your hands actually gets more of the whites off of the yolk. It's a little messier, but a little more effective. And 
my margins probably are ready to go as soon as I get this last white and yolk separated I'm gonna get that off the heat and check the temperature all right my margins measuring right at 201 degrees so it is go time to my egg yolks here I'm doing this is a half tablespoon measuring spoon I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of the lemon juice if you have fresh lemons, obviously that'd be a great choice. Half a tablespoon of water. I'm gonna set my egg whites and eggs to the side. I'm gonna mix up the egg yolks with the lemon. Well, hello. Hi. Well, that's a surprise. I'm gonna gush over my room in a minute. I'm at the, the point where my, I'm at the- That's a critical The part. critical moment, <laughs> but I love you. I Thank love you. you. All right, so I'm going to slowly, slowly drizzle in my hot margarine here while I'm blending everything together. That looks like it came out pretty good. Definitely didn't get any scrambled eggs. Mm. Needs a little bit of, a little bit of pepper and I'm deciding between cayenne and paprika. Let's do cayenne. Let's give that a little stir in. That's a really easy way to make Hollandaise, and I can't wait to do that with butter. Now, Hollandaise doesn't store well for long, so you do want to use it when you make it. I've got my water heating up. I'm about to poach the eggs, and I have the toaster out. I'm gonna get these waffles going. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do two or four. We'll see. Mmm. Not only is this country ham really good, I would even suggest it is one of the best tasting things in that entire store. So since the waffles are kind of big for a single poached egg, I took a glass here and cut out a slightly smaller circle. Definitely not necessary, but we'll see how it, how it looks when it's, you know, fully plated. This is a nice little snack while we cook. So for poaching eggs, you want your water to be bubbling but not at a rolling boil. You want it to be hot enough to cook the egg but you don't want the, the boil to break the egg apart. Some people put uh, vinegar in their water when poaching their eggs. I usually don't. I tried it. I didn't notice a difference. I just give the water a swirl and crack the egg into the swirling water. Some people also feel like they need to uh, cut all all these little all these little white bits off of their their egg but I don't mind them it's just a little bit of extra egg white these little uh, waffle bits definitely a good idea to dip them in the hollandaise There we go. Perfect. I have one last thing I'm actually going to do here real quick. I got my pan greased. I tried to make this into a non-broken circle. It broke on me a little bit, but let's try this anyway. I have my egg whites. I have a bunch of this country ham. broke out but honestly that's okay <laughs> all right it won't be a nice presentation but it will be a nice tasting dish this is just me wanting to not let those egg whites go to waste We snacked on just a little bit of the asparagus. 
not much because there wasn't much in that bag just a couple of stalks but My mom won't eat poached eggs, she doesn't like poached eggs, but I bet she likes this. And there's still a bit, well, I guess you can't really tell how much is in there, but there's a little bit of sauce left if anyone wants a little more. I'm going to top everything with some of these green onions that I have regrowing in a glass jar on my windowsill. Um, I've been regrowing these for like six weeks or something. I've cut them down several times. They're kind of getting at the end of their useful life. You could plant them in dirt, but it's the middle of winter here and I don't really have a lot of room in the house for planters. Especially ones that my cat can't get to. If you think that it's cheating because they're not from the Dollar Tree, that's fine. Just pretend I didn't use them because it's just, uh, it, it's not necessary for them at all. I'm just using them because I have them here and need to finish them up. And you're so nice. Coming home with flowers for me. And he knew better than to overpay on Valentine's Day. So he really does get me. Let's try these out. That is a... Beautifully cooked poached egg. Definitely prefer a butter hollandaise, but margarine will do in a pinch. Yeah, that still tastes really good. So definitely has the flavor of hollandaise. I love how eggs Benedict look really pretty at first, and then they immediately like then get all messy. <laughs> All right, y'all, clean plate club. Obviously, we have happy bellies now. I've now answered the question for myself on whether I can make Dollar Tree Eggs Benedict. I hope y'all enjoyed finding out with me, and I will see y'all next time. I had to show y'all real quick how pretty these are. All right, bye for real this time.